Welcome back to News Talk at 13 before the hour. Should the state of Virginia tap federal stimulus funds to boost unemployment benefits for people who've lost their jobs? That's the issue state leaders continue to debate. Joining us now live here in the studio, Delegate Chris Amundsen. She's a Democrat from Fairfax. It's good to see you. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Chris. Good to be here. Pleasure having you with us. Joining us now by phone, our friend State Senator Ken Cuccinelli, Republican from Fairfax. Good to have you with us, Ken. Welcome back. Glad to be here, Bruce. Thanks, thanks. thanks again for your time. This debate continues. It, correct me if I'm wrong, Delegate Amundsen. It started right at the end of the General Assembly session and has continued since lawmakers left Richmond. Well, actually, in fact, when we went back for the um, v, what's called the veto session, right. the governor had proposed some amendments to an unemployment bill. And one of those amendments would have allowed Virginia to draw down $125 million in Recovery Act funds that would have been able to be used both to um, stabilize our own unemployment fund and also to provide additional benefits to some Virginians who are really hurting. The governor supported this. Democrats in the Assembly uh, liked this idea, but it was blocked by uh, GOP, oh. particularly in the House, where they have the majority. That's correct. Um, you thought this was... Well, uh, the, an opportunity to, to help suffering, for, to, to access federal yeah. funds to help suffering families. Yeah, $125 million was left on the table. Uh, Virginians, there are 300,000 300, Virginians out of work. Right here in Fairfax, the unemployment level has almost doubled in the last year. And I'll tell you that everywhere I go, people say to me, look, I, I'm very worried about losing my job. And they just didn't understand why, for really political reasons, House Republicans turned down that money. Senator well, Cuccinelli, what was the, Chris, what was you the know thinking? It. This, 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 is, this was an attempt to fulfill Rahm Emanuel's quote of, you never want to let a good crisis go by because you can do things you can't do, you couldn't do before. And, and, and if these expansions were such a great idea, Chris, why didn't you put a bill in to do the part-time? Why didn't you do a, put a bill in to do the training and the other two that we didn't even consider the governor didn't put forward? Um, these weren't good ideas, and what, they were try what the federal government was trying to do here was get a permanent expansion, expansion of our unemployment system without funding it permanently, only temporarily. And the reality is there's a difference between extending benefits oh, can, employees can. and expanding them. And this was all new. Okay. These were all new can, programs. Can. And let me finish my point. We've already extended unemployment in Virginia from 26 weeks to up to 59. That's over. That's almost 14 months now available. And and let, I let, let me get the Republicans can, support right, can, that in a recession. Can, but that isn't Ken a reason knows perfectly to well. Is, all is, is the Senator, stop talking Senator hang on for one second. Senator, hang on one second. Okay. Go ahead. First of all, recession. first of all. Um, the answer to why didn't we put in a bill is it was the veto session. You can't put in a bill. As I'm sure Senator Cuccinelli session. is perfectly well aware. He was asking why not do it during the regular we, session. Because the, the funding was not available until the very, very end. And in fact, we didn't have any idea exactly how the unemployment insurance portion of, the, of, of that funding was going to shake out. Second of all, we're talking about um, uh, a, a, an expansion of benefits that would, after all of the federal funds ran out, have cost Virginia employers less than $5 per employee per year. That's hardly what I would describe as a sweeping change to Virginia's unemployment. Senator, in light of the discussion that's taken place since the veto session, are the folks who defeated this in the veto session as solidly against it as they were when you were back in Richmond? Ken uh, that's a hard question to measure, honestly. I mean, the reality is this debate can go on until the next session because it can still be reconsidered next year. And, um, you know, part, part of the problem is when this is done without going through a full legislative consideration, it's a lot harder to swallow, mm -hmm. uh, frankly. But, you know, Chris's number there, that it... Even when the money runs out, it costs five more dollars a job uh, to fund this. Well, that's double the number we heard during the veto session on the Senate side. But what I, what, what I was curious and, about is... And we already have a state unemployment system that is underfunded. No, but I was, what I was so curious... So they're going to have to go up there as well, it is. Ken, what I was curious about is whether 
you know, quote, public reaction to the notion advanced by, you know, that's being uh, enthusiastically advanced by the Democrats that the, that the state has left $125 million on the table. Has that a, caused for any second thoughts or, gee, this is politically a vulnerable thing for us? You know, is there any, any thinking along those lines? Well, like any decent legislator, I, I, I continue to listen. However, I don't, I don't see, you know, if, if the veto session were held tomorrow and we were going to do it again, I don't think you'd see a different outcome, and that appears no. to be the thrust of your question, Bruce. Are you hoping uh, that would, would this money even still be on the table you know, for I, a second reconsideration? I'm really not. I don't know what is going to happen. What I'll tell you is two things. First of all, I think some of my Republican colleagues have not quite wrapped their heads around the notion uh, that Barack Obama won that election last November. And the second thing that I would say is this. I am sure that in... Um, the uh, districts of Republican legislators, including two who called a press conference today to say, oh, no, we're still sh really sure, you know, if, if they're still talking about it, then my assumption is they're hearing about it. And I'll tell you, everywhere I go, this is what I hear about. People are really upset and concerned. I have 15 seconds left, for Senator Cuccinelli, for you to get the last word. Well, I'm traveling the whole state right now because I'm running for statewide office. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be dealing with this and the consequences of it in my election. Chris, I don't know if you have an opponent, but I am not getting the kind of negative reaction that Chris suggests to you is out there. Um, the reality is people understand this bailout money comes with huge strings attached, and they're fed up with that. And unlike Chris's comments, some of us... We're resisting Republican efforts like this, like No Child Left Behind, Senator, that we would mandate. So this is not the first time I for many in. of us to I, oppose this I gotta kind of position i got to jump in because of the clock. i got to jump in because of the clock. Ken Cuccinelli is a state senator, uh, a, a candidate for statewide office, Republican from Fairfax. Chris Amundsen, a Democratic delegate, uh, likewise from Fairfax. Thanks for coming in. Good to have both much. of you with us. Back in a moment with a program note. Don't go away.